hi guys welcome back again to the channel uh welcome to the third part of this particular special food that we are making it's a very it's a commonly used i mean it's a common eaten food in my village here and i hope you watch the first two parts because if you did not watch then you might not get a single thing about what i'm going to do right now this is a continuation of what we started in my first two uploads if you in my last two uploads if, if you watched it so kindly please if you did not watch make it a point guys please go back and watch the, the very last two uploads that i put up so that you can pick up what we are going to do right now otherwise this is where we are going to continue because this is particularly where we stopped guys i was removing these husks and here we are so next i am going to clean up these husks and then what follows i will definitely show you but first of all if you're new here please make it a point to subscribe as well if you're not and you've been always here make it a point to share as you've always been doing and thanks a lot for the love guys straight into our video let me go and clean this please come with me so i am going to you know you might be wondering what what i'm why i'm using this this is a winnower we use it for winnowing like i'm going to do right so this is how we do it to clean off the husks and then only we leave the dinners here so you just blow it like this and make sure the wind is blowing the husk off So here we are and then I'm going to do this. I'm going to show you why I am doing like this. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're wondering. You might think I'm playing. I'm not playing. <laughs> so guys, here we are. The reason I did that was for these small particles here to come together. So I think you can notice the most small particles are gathered together. And there's a way that these parts here are bitter. So what we do always, sorry, there's a way we throw it away that is trash so this is now the good thing and we are going to add up into our good bucket here so this here we are going to store it here and wait for there's a companion for this thing we don't just make it plain like this to make it more tasty there's a way we mix it with something and that something is what i'm going to work on right now so guys here is the something <laughs> Here is the something, guys. Please have a look. I don't even know it, but this is the something I've been talking about. It is called Sim Sim. I think in some countries they call it Sesam. Is it Sesam or something? I don't know. But hey, wherever you're watching me from, please let me know if you guys have this. And let me know how you guys call it. Because for us, we call it Sim Sim in my country here in Uganda. So guys, I am going to roast this as well. It needs to be roasted the same way we did for the groundnut. So I'm just going to pour off a certain quantity. Yeah, so this is this is comfortable enough. And I'm going to put it straight on the fire. So it is the same thing like I told you for the groundnuts. We don't need very hot fire here. So still I'm going to be using these small firewood pieces so that the heat I'm going to produce here is not so much because if the heat is too much it ends up burning so this is it guys and we are going to keep stirring it the same way and here you really have to be consistent while stirring it otherwise it easily burns so you really have to be consistent as you're stirring this so guys let's do this let's do this <laughs> here we are here you might not notice any color difference like you saw in the genus it's not easy to know from color but there's a way we do it you just do this and then you get the you get the smell so there's a way that raw simpsons has a different smell 
and the one which is roasted and it's ready has a different smell and that is the only way you can know it because from looks if you really want to see it from looks by the time you notice you actually get burnt so you'll never know from the looks it is that, that only way which i showed you that tells you whether it's ready or not because the color remains the same as you can notice so to avoid burning because if you leave it intact like this it may burn so you have to be winnowing it For it not to burn, you have to be winnowing it for the wind to blow through it and does not burn. And for it to cool well, like you noticed in the ground nuts, we spread it on the ground. This here has no shell, so we don't spread it on the ground. Secondly, they are so tiny that if you spread it in the ground, you cannot collect it. You cannot differentiate it from the from the soil itself. So you just spread it inside the window right here, or, or or else you can spread it maybe in a cemented place. That is if your place has cement. But the fact that where I am in our home there is no cement, I have no option but to do this, just for the wind to blow through, for the air to pass through it, and it it cools down before we mix it to its companion that I, we just made and it's there waiting in the bucket <laughs> so guys i don't know if you guys also roast same same like i did because this is the way we roast it alternatively we also eat them raw by the there's, there's there's a special meal that we make from this sim sim when it's raw we don't roast it we just grind it straight so i don't know if you people could do the same do you eat raw genets i mean same same do you make any sauce out of it the way we do i don't know how about you let me know in the comment section anyway because i am so excited to know about it i am so interested like i really really want to know how you people do it if you do it the same way like we do i don't know because i'm pretty sure there could be something that you people add maybe to it and it's not even ground nuts like we do <laughs> so what do you guys add to your sim sim to make food out of it otherwise this is how we do it guys let's wait for the sim sim to cool down so we can do the next thing and then i'm definitely going to show you that so let's wait for it to cool So guys here we are our sim sim has actually cooled already and as you can see it's very clean no soil particles no dirt meaning it is actually ready to be mixed onto these groundnuts that we had made earlier so all we are going to do is just pour it inside here and mix them together because the paste we are going to make comes from a mixture of this and it makes a very nice test when it's actually mixed though you could actually make first from either the sim sim alone or even the brown nuts alone but there's that extra niceness that comes when you mix them together so that is the reason i chose to mix mine like that mm, i don't know if you guys also mix it but that is particularly how we do it guys it makes very lovely tests the paste comes out really thick and there's a golden color that comes with it and oh my you don't want to know but i'm going to do this uh, first of all i don't know there's a way we make them we grind them to make the paste on the stone the traditional way like if you saw i think my some video back that i uploaded when i was grinding millet is the same stone that we use for grinding this that is the real traditional way so guys do you really want to see me do that if you want to see me do that please go ahead and let me know in the comment section because i'll be so willing to show you how we make paste how we grind it using the stone because this i am going to grind on the machine but if you really want to know how to grind it or if you really want to see me do it the, tradi the traditional way please go ahead and let me know in the comment section because i am so willing you know your your wish is my command so whatever you're going to tell me guys i am going to do it straight in the very next video if you tell me that you want to see me do that so guys thanks very much for watching this one here and we are ready to go grind our sim sim plus our genets mixed together I hope you enjoyed the video right from the very first part of this till the very last part which is this very one 
because it ends here guys if there is any food that you want to see me cook or maybe make or anything you want to see in my culture go ahead and let me know in the comment section thank you very much for watching thanks for the love i hope you subscribed meanwhile if you're not please go ahead and subscribe i'm out